Hi there, let's talk about how to make this voice assistant bilingual. All right, so when I decided to add an Echo Dot to our home to compete with our HomePod Mini, I was actually pleasantly surprised to discover that it had a bilingual setting for this voice assistant. I was gonna tell you a soft joke, but I got cold feet. All right, so here's how you make this voice assistant bilingual. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your Amazon Alexa app, which is right here, it says Alexa. And once you open it on your home screen, you'll see device settings or echo devices, whichever you wanna choose. I'm gonna go into device settings. Let's choose the blue Echo Dot. That's the one I'm gonna set up um, to change the voice on. All right, so once you tap on that, we're gonna go into the settings uh, right here on the top right corner. And then we wanna scroll down all the way until you find language. All right, so let's choose language. And I'm gonna choose English and Espanol. And it's that simple. That's how you set up this voice assistant to be bilingual. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and put it to the test. So let's try it out. I have my device um, named Echo, so that's the wake word for it. I already have one in my kitchen, a little Echo show, and I don't want it's interfere whenever I'm like talking to the one in the kitchen and the one in the living room. So I decided to just add the wake word echo to this one. Okay, echo. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Viviendo el sueño. Y si quieres oír de sueños que se cumplen, dime, Alexa, abre un top 5 de deportistas. Echo. What's up? How are you? I'm feeling inspired. As we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, I've been listening to Light Spirit and Soul by Carlos Santana. He brings the sound of unity and harmony to all four corners of the world. If you'd like to listen along too, just say, read Light Spirit and Soul. It's very on topic, so I like it. All right, Echo. Who is your favorite singer? I don't think it gets better than Beyonce. Oh, yeah. They don't call her Queen Bee for nothing. Echo, ¿quién es tu cantante favorito? Dale, Armando Cristian Pérez, mejor conocido oh, como Pitbull, es mi cantante favorito. Oh, Pitbull. Mr. Worldwide. For us, we are an immigrant family, so we are, uh, we primarily speak Spanish at home, we're bilingual, and we're raising our kids to be bilingual. Um, but that results in a lot of Spanglish. And when I um, set up initially this voice assistant to be bilingual, um, I was pretty happy to see that no matter what language you ask um, a command or a question to her, she will respond in that same language accordingly. So if you ask a question in Spanish, she'll respond in Spanish. If you ask a question in English, she'll respond in English. And um, I thought that was pretty cool because if you think about it, if you have, say, like your three-year-old speaks English, but your uh, mother-in-law, from in my example, speaks Spanish, they can still both communicate with Alexa all the same. And aside from that, if someone at home is learning a second language, then um, it's a great way to practice conversational Spanish or any other language that you can find in it. Um, and it's not limited to Spanish. Amazon has embraced bilingualism to include languages and accents from countries like Germany, Japan, Italy, France, Mexico, um, Brazil, India, and Spain. And even though it's not as popular as this assistant, Google Assistant also has a multilingual setting and it can actually support up to three languages at once, which Alexa can only support two um, and Siri can only support one. Yeah. 
Echo, ¿de dónde eres? Me crearon en las oficinas de Amazon, en Seattle, Estados Unidos. And you know, having little ones with like a HomePod Mini or an Echo or even a Google Nest is a pretty cool um, thing because they, they'll go up to them and ask them for jokes or how many sleeps until this holiday or until my birthday or what are you wearing for Halloween? Why do people keep worn out sweatshirts? Because they're oldies, but hoodies. And I think that's a super attractive feature for the little kids, like having both languages. Um, because having this assistant understand us in the language that we speak and the way that we speak, and it just makes it really fit into our family, um, something that Siri hasn't done yet. So while I don't trust this assistant with a lot of things, I think that's definitely a clear advantage that it has over Siri for sure. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching.